Hi, and welcome to chapter 19 of the UVM Primer Code Examples. Uh, in this chapter, we're looking at UVM reporting. UVM has a set of reporting functions that allow us to control and filter the number of messages that we get from our test bench. Very often, we put a debug statement in our test bench and then wind up looking at it for the rest of our lives because nobody really wants to go in and put in a system that will block it when we're not debugging anymore. And the other option is just to go in and comment it out. So the UVM has a system in place that allows you to create messages and create actions based on messaging that uh, that can be filtered and controlled a little bit more a little bit more detail than a simple dollar display or dollar error. Uh, you'll notice that earlier in all of our examples I used a dollar display and dollar fatal and dollar error as uh, ways of reporting to the uh, to the user uh, what had happened. And we're going to replace those with UVM macros. So if we remember at the uh, top of our uh, all of our um, packages, uh, we've had a um, we've had a a macro entry up here where we say uh, in the package we say import UVM package and then we say include UVM macros and those macros we've been using them for the uh, the um, component utils macro but uh, we're also going to use them now for messaging and there are four macros uh, we're looking at three of them here one is UVM info another is UVM warning then there's UVM error and then finally UVM fatal and uh, what these macros do is they can they display the screen, but they also can filter and control uh, what we see. And the one that gets used most often is this UVM info. And when you use UVM info, you pass it an ID, which in this case is the word scoreboard. Uh, then you pass it a string, which in this case we're passing it this data string. Now the data string we made right here, we um, use the uh, sformatf method, which is the system Verilog way of creating a string with uh, with values in it. It's just like the, the C method with printf. It uses the same sort of approach of a string with um, these uh, field identifiers in them and then the uh, variables afterwards. And so we've created this string and then the question is well, what do we do with it? Well if there's a uh, if we pass our test and here we're in our scoreboard comparing our predicted result to our actual result. If we pass the test then we uh, say pass and we print it out to the screen and if we fail the test then we issue a UVM error and print that out to the screen. When you issue an error it gets marked as an error in the um, UVM reports that result at the end of the test. Uh, there is also an error count that gets incremented and you can set up reporting to, to shut things off at a certain error count. I cover this in a lot more detail in the other book uh, FPGA Simulation. So the UVM info uh, has three fields to it. It has the it has the ID, it has the string, and then it has this verbosity level. And the verbosity level can be uh, UVM low, UVM high. It really should be called the verbosity ceiling. And the way that it works is if the, your message is uh, has a verbosity that's above the ceiling for the simulation or for that part of the UVM hierarchy, then it can't be printed because it can't get past the ceiling. In this case, this UVM high suggests that uh, we will not normally see this message. This uh, The default level is UVM info, and UVM info is lower than UVM high, so uh, the UVM high messages won't get through the ceiling and won't get printed. We'll see in a little bit how to make it print messages if, if we want a higher level of verbosity in our test bench. Uh, UVM error, you'll notice, and UVM fatal, these don't have um, ceilings. These are assumed that if you use these, you want them to go out to the screen unless you make some real special requirements for them not to and we'll see how to do that. So now what we want to do is we want to show how to change the verbosity level in our test bench and um, how to change the verbosity level in parts of the UVM hierarchy. We've talked a lot about this UVM hierarchy, how the components have child components and have child components. We're actually going to use that hierarchy now in reporting. Uh, first let's look at this globally. If we want to globally change the verbosity. Um, we go into our call to the simulation and we type UVM verbosity equals and then we can say for example UVM high 
And when we run this test, that will print out that message that we saw was UVM high. This raises the verbosity ceiling or the verbosity level for the whole test bench to a higher level. Another way that we can control verbosity is in the environment or in any component. And uh, the way we do that is we have a phase here called the uh, end of elaboration phase. Now, if you remember, there are phases when we uh, create components. There's the build phase, and then there's the connect phase, uh, and then there's a run phase. At the end, uh, there's a reporting phase. But between the creation of this hierarchy in the test bench and connecting everything up and the run phase, just after one and just before we run, there's this end of elaboration phase that gets called. And if we create an end of elaboration phase function, it will get called just before we start the simulation. And in this case, we're using it to set the verbosity level. Uh, we see here what we're doing is we're going to the scoreboard. So we've created this scoreboard object and we've told it that we're the parent. We go to that scoreboard and we call this method. Now all UVM components, in fact all UVM objects as well, uh, have these reporting methods. And this method, set report verbosity level, says that uh, the verbosity level for this scoreboard is going to be high. And that's only for the scoreboard. Uh, and if there were other levels below the scoreboard, this wouldn't affect them. If we want to affect everything below the scoreboard, we say higher for hierarchical, and then that will change the uh, reporting uh, all the way down. In fact, you can see we did that down here with our commented out um, for bossy level. Now, the other way that we can go is we can um, we can also control the actions that happen. Because you'll notice if we go back to our uh, scoreboard, <clears throat> the error has no has no um, verbosity. So you can't control it with verbosity. It ignores verbosity. You can set the verbosity to zero. Error messages will still go to the screen. But you might not want to print out your error messages from this particular scoreboard because you happen to know what the error is and you don't want to see the message anymore. And so what you can do then is you can change the action based on the severity. So here's a method again in scoreboard.h called set report severity. So this is based on the severity level action hierarchical. So this is we can also do it this way. Right, without hierarchical. Uh, and what that does is that says if you see a UVM error, then implement UVM no action, which means don't do anything. Uh, generally, UVM error will display to the screen and increment the counter, but if we change it to no action, then it won't display to the screen or implement the counter. Uh, we could also just have it count, and in the book we have a table of all the actions that are available. We can also or the actions together to make it do multiple things. And so that's the basics of uh, using the uh, UVM reporting system and how that was uh, shown in these code examples.